entering into Babe Khaybar, this you can see the signboard of Babe Babe Khaybar. This is the gate of Khaybar, which is called is Babe Khaybar. It is taken from Arabic word Bab, which means gate. So this is Babe Khaybar. Just in Jai, I'm entering into Babe Khaybar. You can see the Pakistani flag has been hoisted. And you can see some cannon, two small cannon. Again, you can see Nabe Khaybar. Pamakh Dekha Khudde De Malsha. It means that. Goodbye. And let me sh show you some of the historical. Behind it, 17 kilometer pass. So, this is Jamrod. Fort. You can see this is Jamrod Fort. And now let me show you the history. So this is about Qaid Azam. And this is Pakistan. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can take it. The British on the scene. Alexander and his impact of Gandahara was a rider on the grand scale and only indirectly a spreader of Greek thought and culture. As the two total duration of his stay on the frontier was less than 12 months, but the British appeared on the scene with a different story. They ruled over the northwest frontier of India for over a century and left a permanent mark of Western influences on the conservative Pathan society which is still tribal in its pattern. According to the British it was here that it was here that they met their equals who looked them straight in the face and fought against them up the last day of their rule. But when the British quit after a rule of over 100 years the two great people started as friends. The vanguard of the British army arrived in Peshawar in 1949. It was the end of the Sikh rule between the Suleiman Mountain and Andes. And then the advent of Islam. This shows the advent of Islam. A lot of tourists are here. So they are. So you can see the Shagai Fort again. So this is the map. This is geographical map. So you can see Afghanistan here. And this is the this is the river Kabul, which is started from Afghanistan entering into Pakistan. This is Khaybar. We are now we are standing. And then the Khaybar in the ancient times. The northwest frontier of Pakistan has been perhaps more envisions in the course of history than any other country in Asia or indeed in the world. It is the seat of mangling civilization, congeries of people engaged in a low march through the centuries. Where the history marking clouds have always been gathering on the horizon of time. The Khaybar is one of the world famous gateways of the frontier, which figure in history is a corridor of invasion. That is a corridor of invasion. A lot of warriors have been there and commerce between the Central Asia and the subcontinent. It lies across the passage of countless invaders including world shaking names like those of Alexander, Chinggis Khan, <clears throat> Timurlan, the most famous conqueror in our history. The historic and renowned international highway was first used by the Aryans from Central Asia in 1600 BC. In the 6th century BC, Persian occupied the region and made it a strapway of the Persian Empire. The next historical episode was the coming of Greeks under Alexander. So Alexander himself used a more northern 
the route yet the major portion of the Greek army under the journal you can read it and then the Khaybar ki Kabyle the different tribes inhabited in Khaybar the famous Alexander historian Herodotus states that the country bordering on the banks of the Indus was occupied by a people called the Pectia who were divided into four nations one of which was the Apartia has been identified with the modern Afridis who formed the bulk of the population of the Khaybar Pass. Historically, the Afridis have inhabited late Grecian or Macedonian blood from Alexander or his soldier. In truth, in the region, the Macedonian was a bird of passage, though Hellenistic influences under the Gracio Bactrian kings did reach the Andes Gandahara, known as the Peshawar Valley, but it is startling to note that the Afridis have Gracian features and indeed many a young Afridi might stand as a model for Apollo while the Afridi elder with his classical beard can display the gravity of Zeus. The Khaybar area, mainly a rugged reef of grey rocks, is inhabited by the following four tribes Afridi, Shinwari, Malagori and Shilmali. These are the four main tribes. Afridi, Shil Shinwari, Malagori and Shilmali. All these types are home as it were the land was made not man for the land or well armed warrior with Spartan virtues and vices. Who live more or less a camp life in thick yellowish grey houses behind mud walls so you can see it. With a watchtower for each compound. Watchtower is a very important part of our culture. These hellmen are men who can outpace any man in a deadly many struggling for existence hence their survival through the ages a pattern is essentially a hellman and has proverbial hospitality courtesy courage and cheerfulness entitle him to respect and admiration the Khaybar tribes are no exception to it like other Pashtun this tribe have been served their own code of honor since time immemorial the code of imposes upon them three chief obligations Nanawati are the right of asylum. Asylum nan is called is Nanawati in Pashto. Badal are the old doctrine of any of an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth and melmastia are hospitality to all. And then the Khaybar Pass and its geography. The Khaybar is unique in its geography, history, location, climate and inhabitant. It is the gateway of the subcontinent and lies straight ahead. To the west of Peshawar, a beautiful and fertile valley surrounded by an unbroken girdle of mountains in the shape of Roman amphitheater. The Khaybar is the meeting place of a series of rippling grey brown tracks and valley known as the Soleiman chain of mountains and offshoot of the mighty Himalayas coming from Pamir, the roof of the world. This is the location, and again, let me show it from a very close angle. This is Khaybar Pass and 